Hey everybody, welcome back. So a couple more uh, Vesta videos and then I'm gonna start, I think, getting into Hartree Falk. I wanna release a video by the end of next week, if not early the following week. I think finally let's add P orbitals into that program, even though we're, we're not even done with the program with S orbitals. Uh, it's been long overdue. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna start looking into that. But uh, today I'm gonna be looking at this uh, uh, vanadium selenide system here. Someone from a while ago had requested that I make a monolayer of this system. So uh, I think we can go ahead and do that. So I'm just gonna show some bonds here. For some reason, Vesta didn't perceive the bonds. So <clears throat> go ahead and go to edit bonds and uh, do this. And here I'll search for a bond of three angstroms. Okay, you can see. So this is actually a, a, a system analogous to molybdenum sulfide, molybdenum selenide. Um, now, by the way, how I just loaded this file was I pressed uh, Command O. So if I go to File Open, you can see Command O. That's how I just opened uh, that panel initially. Anyway, so let's go ahead and, and make a monolayer of this, and then we'll make a bilayer of it as well. So here, if I want to make the monolayer, uh, I'm actually going to delete these bonds that I just made. Um, and then what I'm going to do is actually I got to expand the crystal. So I'll go ahead and go to Edit, Edit Data unit cell, transform. Let's transform the uh, C axis by three. Yes, and then I'll search atoms. Okay, apply. So you can see here uh, our hetero bilayer already. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and save this cell actually. So I'll go to file export data and let's export this as VSE one, one by one by three. Okay, we'll save this as a VASP. Now uh, we're gonna save it in Cartesian coordinates. It's always important, I think, when you make monolayers, I, I like to save in Cartesian coordinates because uh, you'll be adding vacuum. And if you save in fractional coordinates and then add vacuum, it's going to scale the atom positions according to the new unit cell. Let's go ahead and just select okay here. So I'll press Command W to get out of here. You would press Control W on Windows. Now I'm gonna press Command O. You would press Control O on Windows. And let's go ahead and open that file we just saved. Okay, so you can see this now. Let's go ahead and make the monolayer. Let's actually make the bilayer first. So we do this by chopping off those. <clears throat> and now I'm just going to actually um, go ahead and I have to, since I want to add vacuum in this direction, but keep these directions periodic, I don't want to include these atoms. Now there is, a, I think, another way you could do it for this particular structure. Uh, you could have use this Vesta option to remove duplicates. Uh, where is it? Remove duplicate atoms. Uh, so I, I, I don't particularly like this message, uh, not message, method, because it doesn't actually work for bulk systems if you want to keep that top layer. So I it just in general practice, don't do it this way. Um, so let's go ahead and just remove them manually for now. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove the repeated atoms in this direction. Then I'm going to remove the repeated atoms in this direction. That's this A vector. I find the approach I show here to be uh, more general to bulk systems because what will happen is if you have like a four layer bulk system and then you, you do the remove duplicate approach, you'll only end up with three layers. And it actually has a problem when you have a hetero atoms in your system. So the way I show here, I, I, I have found over the years has been better. So here's our, our bilayer. So this would be a hetero, I'm sorry, this would be a homo bilayer. So it's a 2D system where you have where each layer is uh, the same one. If you were to change this top layer, then you'd have a 2, 2D hetero structure. And I show in my course uh, that I, I just made how to make those. Uh, for the homo bilayer systems though, it's, it's kind of trivial. So uh, it's okay to do it here. All right, so let's go ahead now and save this, but I save it as an XYZ. So I'll go to here and just change this to an XYZ, okay? And I'm gonna call this VSE homo bilayer and save it. And do not save the hidden atoms. I've actually never seen what happens if you press yes. Maybe you can do it and tell me, but I think it would save all the atoms I just deleted. Uh, so I'm just gonna select no. Then what I'm gonna do is simply delete this top layer and I'll save this again. You go to file, export data. And here I'm just gonna save it as monolayer. 
Okay, so now let's go back to PyCharm. And what I'm going to do now is make two new files. Okay, so I'm actually working on this other system right now for someone else. So let's go into the Vanadium folder, and I'm going to do two things. I'm going to copy the uh, VSE 1x1x3 file. I'm going to copy it to, uh, let's do VSE uh, homo bilayer. Homo bilayer, except we're going to call it dot VASP. Then I'm going to do the same thing, but call it monolayer. That should create two new files in here. Okay, so one thing I have to do now is copy in the bilayer XYZ into here. Let me delete these old ones. Okay, so homo bilayer XYZ into homo bilayer VASP. So, and you can see here that we actually retain stoichiometry. So let's go ahead and now realize we have two vanadium and four selenium and then copy these atoms. Sorry if you hear clicking in the background, my dog's walking around. Okay, so this, should, this looks good. Um, you can see that the maximum distance between the top, the bottom atom and the top atom is about 10 angstroms. And so if you wanna add 20 angstroms of vacuum, you should have 30 angstroms in your C direction. So let's go ahead and change this two to a three. So that should be the homo bilayer. Let's go ahead and do the monolayer now. So open the VASP and XYZ for the monolayer. So first we copy in this XYZ into here. Let's delete these so we know it's one vanadium, two selenium. And here uh, the max distance is only about three angstroms. So we only need about roughly, you know, three, 23, 24. And finally, I'm just going to rename these. So I'll call this VSE2 monolayer, and I'll call this one VSE2 homo bilayer. So let's go ahead now and open these in Vesta. Let's open the bilayer. You can see it's very nice. Um, and everything basically looks great. So what's happening is Vesta is auto populating. Uh, this atom. So you can see these are actually the same atom, atom two. So Vesta is actually detecting to make this replication. This atom doesn't actually exist. Uh, similarly, let's go ahead and open up the monolayer. Yeah, so you can see now that we have the bilayer and the monolayer system ready for your electronic structure input. Um, if you wanted to visualize this and have bonds, because sometimes Vesta doesn't perceive bonds, if you wanted to add the bonds, you would go to edit bonds, new, vanadium, selenium. Let's search for a bond length of three. For example, if you were to search for a bond length of one, you wouldn't find it. Uh, that's because the distance between these atoms is 2.49 angstroms. So if we search for 2.5, we should be able to find it as well. Yeah, but if we did 2.4, you see you won't find it. So yeah, there's our uh, homo bilayer and vanadium monolayer. If you wanna know how to make hetero bilayers between different systems, definitely check out my course. I really show you guys like how this concept known as root integer supercells is really important in making these uh, hetero systems. And really, if you're you know uh, going into computational material science, it's absolutely something you need to know about these root integer supercells and how they affect uh, making computational models with uh, minimal lattice mismatch. All right, so yeah, I mean, if you guys have anything you want me to work on, uh, send a link in the description, or no, uh, put a comment in the, uh, in the chat, in the comment section, and uh, I'll, I will have a link in the description for that course I made, and I'll be making more courses in the future. People are already saying like, hey, you know, make one with Quantum Espresso, and so yeah, just let me know what would be helpful for you, and uh, that's sort of the vector I'll move in. All right, take care, everyone. See ya.